ground. This is distance across the ground, and this is depth in the ground. So I'm shooting down about eight feet right now, looking in the ground. Probably won't see a grave when I'm trying to find one. Okay. Just went, here's a definite grave I just went over. See this um, hyperbola shape and a straight line beside it? Mm -hmm. That's a coffin, probably with a metal lid. Mm -hmm. uh, this, and there's a coffin, probably one or two right next to it. So it's about, I just passed over about three graves right back there, right in here. That, none of which have any kind of marker on the ground. Just went over another one. So yeah, this is going to be, this could be uh, quite a few people buried out here that aren't marked by tombstones or, or other kinds of grave marks. Is this technology primarily used for finding graves, or how else does it use? Um, I was actually the first archaeologist to ever use this brand. Um, it's geologists use radar, um, uh, utility workers use radar, uh, archaeologists, uh, policemen, people looking for crime scenes and that sort of thing, and they use it. Uh, it's used by a variety of, of professions, but uh, it works really good in cemeteries, and it seems to work really good in the Georgia coast on cemeteries. Why, why the Georgia coast? Well, it, certain soils and, and uh, mineral content of the soils can affect how well it works. So there, there are parts of the country where radar doesn't work because there's too much iron in the soil. Mm -hmm. or uh, There are two things that can kill the signal. One is uh, salt, which you'd think there'd be a lot of salt around the coast, but mm -hmm. it's not really until you get right on the water that it affects it. So uh, that was, it had never been used until recently on the Barrier Islands. So we know now that it works pretty good on Barrier Islands. Uh, the soils are, are good for the conductivity of the uh, radar beam, and so, uh, you know, eventually as I go down on the ground, I lose uh, radar signals. It starts kind of dropping the signal, but um, the other thing, it won't go through metal, mm -hmm. so like large solid metal objects, it, it'll create an echo underneath it. It'll see the top of the metal, but it won't see underneath the metal. So like that coffin with a lot of metal in it, it's going to make it just distinct signature, but if there was another burial below that one or something, you would, might not see it. Mm -hmm. So it's recording the information that you yeah, gather each, as you roll across? Each pass that I make, when I get to the end of the line, I, I, I save it. That saves three computer files. I keep do, I move over 50 centimeters or half a meter and do another line and just keep doing these lines until I have, I'll probably wind up with about three or four hundred lines. Then I take all those lines and, and make a big sandwich out of it. <laughs> and then I can do uh, a plan view, a uh, bird's eye view of the cemetery. And I can cut down on the ground and say, this is what the graveyard looks like, you know, two feet down. This is what it looks like five feet down. And, it, you know, that that's when the graves kind of pop out. You can also see them pretty good in side view. Mm -hmm. That's right. Basically, that's a grave. Uh, that's probably two graves. There's a grave. There may be one or two in here. So just in that little sample that I did, you know, I went over at least five people, mm -hmm. none of which have a marker. Okay. So I don't know how many we're going to see, but yeah. we'll have a, they're sort of like, uh, I always tell everybody, graveyards are like icebergs, you know, you, you see the tip, but there's always a lot that you don't see. In the old days, even, you know, everybody in, in coastal Georgia, even interior Georgia, didn't have money for tombstones. Mm -hmm. So uh, just because, you know, you see a few tombstones, there could well be ten times that many people buried there. Okay. And not to mention vandalism and other problems. So you'll just be doing this today? No, I'm going to be here through Wednesday. Oh, okay. This can take me that long to get a, you know, try to do a 15 meter wide sample all the way down. And if I get that done, I get a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm doing after that. Okay. But that samples a lot of these void areas where there's no markers, but we think there's people buried there. And um, it would give us an idea of the density of people in the graveyard. Okay. It could kind of use to, I mean, it would be a big project to do the entire cemetery. It might be worth doing if you want to use these areas, you know, if, this, if the community wants to use these areas for burial. You kind of don't want to be digging up somebody to bury somebody on top of them. Right. That's ground penetrating radar. 101.